Good morning, Tahmina Khan is here in TK Maths is Fun. In today's video, which is video number 6 on decimals, we will see division in decimals by decimal numbers, right? Either by whole number or by another decimal number. So let's recall first of all, when you divide a number by 10, 100 and 1000, 10, 100 or 1000, then how number changes? Decimal numbers, right? So let's start with the first one. 23 divided by 10. You know in 23, because you can't see decimal, it is written in the last. So 23 divided by 10 is what? 2.3. Whenever we divide by 10, 100,000, decimal jumps left. So it will jump one place because in 10 there is one zero. Similarly, in the second question, 42.7 divided by 10. This decimal will come here, left. Okay, in multiplication, right? But in decim uh, division left, so it is four. Oh, sorry, four point two seven. Then one hundred and forty three divided by hundred. Again in one hundred and forty three, you cannot see decimal, but it is there. Where at the end? So now when you are dividing by hundred, where this decimal will jump? Two places to the left. One, two. So it will be one point four three right let's see number four again in 76 you cannot see decimal it is here in the rightmost divided by thousand mean you have three zeros you will jump it three zeros left by the way this is only for 10 hundred thousand in 200 300 500 there is something else we have to do right so i am just talking about the basics right now okay so now divided by thousand three places to the left one two three so it is zero seven six and decimal will be here so we do write if there is no digit before decimal we write here zero because you see this space will be occupied by zero so what will come before it definitely we never write any number starting straight away with decimal for example two four three whatever we do write something if there is no digit we write zero and that is the reason I am writing 0 here. Let's see number 5. It is 6005. 6005. But where decimal was? After 6. And where it has come here? Before 6. So what happened? If it has moved from here to here, it means it jumped one place to the left. So you will divide it by 10. Absolutely right. Let's see this case. It was 08 and now it is 008. I am talking about after decimal, right? So it means this decimal has gone further to the left like this. And that's why it has now two zeros after decimal. It means how many places it has jumped? One place. So divided by 10. Now let's come to the digits, not 10, 100,000, which we can do mentally. What about these cases? How do we handle them? Again, you need to have very strong tables. So let me start with this one. Short division can also be done, but everybody is not very comfortable. So I'm doing long division here, right? This is your divisor and this is your dividend. The number which we divide is called a dividend, right? Now, be very careful, write decimal here and I will tell you how to handle it. This is single unit. 3. So what you are dividing, you will also look at single unit also. It is 3. Oh, sorry, 2. In the table of 3, which is bigger than 2, it doesn't come. So I can do what here? 3 times 0 is 0. And then I subtract 2. And 4 will come down. Now it is 24. In the table of 3, when 24 come? 8. So 8, 3 times 8 is 24. When you will subtract it will be zero now you have to bring three down right you have to bring three down here but before that what is there decimal so before thinking down decimal will be written here now you can say three times one is three minus and now you will bring six down here because three minus three is zero either you write or you don't write doesn't matter right so I'm writing 6 straight away. 
So 3 to the 6. So my answer is what? 8.12 or if you want to write 0 8.12, you can write like that as well. Now this was a decimal number divided by integer or whole number. What about the second case where a decimal number is divided by another decimal number? I don't know the table of 0 0.4. Do you know it? No, na. So if we don't know the table of a decimal number, then what should we do? We have to finish this decimal from the uh, denominator, from the divisor. This is my divisor. Na. I'm dividing by this number. I don't want decimal because I don't know a table of decimal. So how many digits are after decimal? Only one digit. So to finish it, what I will do, I will multiply it by 10. And similarly, I need to multiply numerator also by 10. Because you cannot apply operation only on the denominator. The same operation you have to apply on the numerator. So now it will be, we have seen already in the previous videos, when we multiply by 10, 100,000, 10 or 100 or 1,000, decimal moves right. So now multiplying it by 10, this decimal will come here and this decimal will come here. So it is 76.8 divided by 4. Before 4, you don't need to write 0. It's okay, right? Because it means 4 basically. So now I will go for long division. Okay? 76.8 divided by 4. Now 4 times 2 is 8, which is bigger than 7. So I will stick to 4 times 1. 7 minus 4 is 3. Now it is smaller than 4. So I will bring down 6 now. 4 times what is uh, 36? 4 nines. You need to revise tables, right? I am repeating. Till 15 you should know table by heart. 4 times 9 is 36. 36 minus 36 is 0, right? So now I have to bring this 8 down. But before 8 there is decimal. So it will go up. 4 times 2 is 8. So my answer is 19.2. Let's do one more question. Okay. This one. Okay. So this is actually what? 0 0.0553 divided by 0 0.07. Again, I don't know the table of 0 0.07, which is my divisor. So I try to finish this decimal. Now this time after decimal, there are how many digits? Two digits. So I need to multiply it by 100. And same operation I will apply in the numerator. So when I will multiply by 100, this decimal will come here. So it will become 7. And this decimal will also jump two places right. And this will become 5.53. Now I can do long division here. I'm doing it here for you. You can see. Right. Now single digit. So I will pick up single digit. 5 is smaller than 7. So I will do 7 times 0 is 0. And I will copy down 5. Now to bring this 5 down, I need to take this decimal here. Now 7 times 7 is 49 and 7 times 8 is 56. Just writing it for you. 7 times 7 is 49 and 7 times 8 is 56. 56 is bigger than 55. So I will stick to 7 times 7. And now I will subtract. It is 6. Right? 55 minus 49 is 6. I can bring this 3 down now. So 7 times what is 63? 7 times 9 is 63. So I will do 7 times 9 is 63. If by chance you don't know table by heart, you can write down very quickly in your notebook. On the right hand side in the column, draw the line here in the notebook neatly and write it down. Okay. Now, so answer is 0 0.79. This is how you calculate it. Okay. So now we will do in the next video. Uh, real life application of the division sorry this <laughs> spelling i will correct okay 
the version anyway so thank you very much for watching the video take care allah hafiz